Ice see, shut eyes see. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Aki's and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Split Decision. I'm your host, Aki. To my left is Professor Nims, punted with the PhD in pugilism. Huh? Talk to him nice. Don't talk to him twice. So. That being said, welcome to Split Decision. Uh, they was keep, so like all, so, the, all the management was keeping Oscar De La Hoya so away from exactly. Him. So you out here saying Floyd Mayweather didn't fight these guys? You blame it on Floyd? Two examples. I was just saying throughout his whole career. I'm saying I can, like so I can make an argument that he did not go after these fights. You 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 trying to make you the argument, it. but I'm countering it with facts. See, no, you gotta not. call you gotta call a spade a spade. I know, but hold on, hold on. You can't be ahead. around the bush because you gotta call a spade a spade. You are here, what's the show called? Split decision. Split decision. That's but right. I mean I think I just knocked you out. <laughs> hey, throw in the white towel. <laughs> hey, your, your corner throw in the white <laughs> towel. <laughs> 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 See? Hey, your he corner got... saved you. I can't talk no more, man. Your corner yeah. saved you because facts matter the, at the end of the day. We're gonna let the people. Uh, this, yeah, they the said decision. I won last time. I think they're gonna I, I, I agree with me this time as well. Let's go on. You do you want the towel in no, order no, to no, talk? No, okay, because no, your no, towel, no, your no, corner. No. Um, so on to the next subject. Your man Usyk versus Witherspoon. Ooh, so, um. With a spoon, obviously, was a late replacement for Tyrone. I don't know if y'all y'all saw Tyrone on Instagram and YouTube. No, that's that's another Tyrone <laughs> that's going around being people up and stuff. But Tyrone, he got tested positive for certain PEDs. Then his last sample came out, um, you know, clear. But obviously, that was kind of his last sample, so he could have been dirty. Then you know they gave him a replace opponent, which is with a spoon. Now the guy that knocked out. Anthony Joshua supposedly is sparring. You know, Eddie Hearn promised him that he was going to give him a shot here and there. However, when he had the opportunity, he stepped up. But Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn said, absolutely not. You're not messing up this plan and this money because I believe, you know, in case AJ gets knocked out, he planning on replacing uh, Usyk and, and, you know, make a big mega fight between Usyk and Ruiz or Usyk and, and Deontay He's Wilder. Right to Usyk. Yeah, yeah, he, that's his fighter. I think he signed him. So um, he gave him a replace him opponent with a spoon. You know, he 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 not a good. I mean, he a good fighter back in the day. But I'm, I'm when I say a good fighter, I mean like decent, like for he's for for an average fighter. Like I'm talking about a fighter I that mean, I don't know about good. Like you know, service. he will be labeled as you know to the fans that like to call people out. You know, he will be labeled as a bum, and he's washed up. And Usyk. Couldn't stop the man. I mean, it was the seventh round. He had to quit on the stool because he didn't train for this fight. And he took on late notice. And Usyk, like I said, he was getting cracked with a couple right hands. You picture Deontay Wilder doing that. He might put him to sleep quick in the early rounds. That being said, how did you see the fight? Um, you know, how did you see that fight first? Because we're going to talk about him in the heavyweight division. But how, just, how you saw that fight and how that fight played out, in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't too many surprises. Uh, Chaz... Looked like he wasn't ready for a fight. Looked like he got out um, off the couch to fight somebody. It's not his fault. He got a, a very, very late notice. He took a paycheck. And I, I, I did, if, we, if we learn anything from from the fight, because you really can't learn something from that fight with a late replacement, anything. Yeah. We learned that Usyk doesn't have heavyweight power or con concussive power at, at the heavyweight level. And that was kind of, you know, somebody that's moving up, that was one of the first things that they kind of look at, like, how's his power? He throws good combinations. He's light on his feet. But we're in the era of the super heavyweight. And yeah. Super, super heavyweight. I don't know if you can take a shot from a – a shot on the top of the head from Wilder would, would eat him up. He could, he could definitely outbox Wilder over the course of a fight. He's left-handed. He's going to be turning Wilder. Wilder's – but – all he needs is just that one punch. And if Chaz Witherspoon was coming in with some straight right hands, <laughs> then that <laughs> that means that Wilder is going to at least <laughs> land a couple. And yeah. with him, it only takes one. Yeah, Usyk is not sweet with his defense. I always say Usyk reminds me of, of a poor version of Lomachenko 
at the heavyweight division. Like, he has mm -hmm. the style kind of like Lomachenko, but the problem is he's not as elusive, he's not as mobile, and it works better with, for Lomachenko in the lower weight divisions. The only fighter that is as mobile as a lightweight is Muhammad Ali. I mean, Muhammad Ali with his footwork, he was dancing. The man was not moving around the ring. The man was dancing and throwing combinations and could knock you out going backwards. That's the only elusive heavyweight that I've ever seen that's, that could move like a lightweight. You know, Mike Tyson, obviously, with his upper body movement, too, was impressive. But, you know, if you box, you're going to get punched. If you swim, you're going to get wet. And especially with a Deontay Wilder, for example, Deontay Wilder, he got an eraser. Whatever you wrote in the, in the history book, he going to erase it with one punch. So the fact that Usyk, you know, get caught, especially he got caught uh, trading punches with, with Witherspoon. Witherspoon was, you know, timing him and, and will trade a right hand for a left hand, and he caught him here and there. And, and Usyk obviously adjusted and put it on him, but he couldn't put, like you said, Witherspoon out. That wasn't a good sign. And, you know, he wasn't as impressive as I thought he would have been, especially against the Witherspoon. So people was coming at me talking about I'm hating on Usyk. Nah, I'm just calling it what it is. You know, y'all going to throw, like, this dude calling out Deontay Wilder. After the fight, he changed his mind. He's like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to face Ruiz. I think I, I'd rather face the winner of Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. He didn't bring up Deontay Wilder. He said, it's up to my promoter. So he's already kind of retracting his comments. So I'm saying I'm just calling it what it is. Like, don't be mad at the message. Be mad at the, me you know, don't be mad at the messenger. Be mad at the message. You know what I'm saying? So Usyk. Just not a good heavyweight. Like Holyfield did it, but Holyfield had the it factor to be in a great fighter of all. You know, he one of the greatest of all time. I don't think Usyk has the attributes like Holyfield, like the chin, the 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 heart, the the the, the determination. You know, yeah, the skill. I mean, he's only yeah. had one heavyweight fight. Yeah, but I'm got, saying I didn't make... see that. Like I didn't see none of that. I mean, he, he he didn't have to. He didn't have to show it. He, Man, it was, it was I think he would have. Like, uh, he he should have showed it. And try to knock the duo out. I mean, at least I mean, come no, on no. now. He he didn't try to like with a spoon. He didn't. I mean, I'm saying end, he, he was like he was trying, but he, he couldn't. Tried, he tried. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's a difference between trying and doing it. He won the fight. He stopped. The, he got somebody out there who basically was ready to go and find a place. He got somebody out there that was supposed to get knocked out in the first round. Peep first this. Round. Peep uh, this, man. Music? Man, come on now. With a spoon, bro. With a spoon is a nobody, and he's washed up. He's like, he in, 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 first round but, but I'm saying either, he's though. in his later part of his he career. Is, he is. He was, and he's a late replacement. Somebody that so, was just like, we need to just save the show. And he, um, I would say at least the first three or four rounds he was trying to I, th I thought he was trying to yeah if I, not trying to win try to stay competitive and i mean witherspoon is you know you got to give him credit for stepping in the ring you got to give every fighter the credit for stepping in the ring but i'm just saying calling it what it is i didn't think i don't think he's usik you know gonna do much in the heavyweight division which is gonna i'm just gonna jump to the next subject which is how will usik do against the heavyweights from ruiz to tyson fury thank y'all for tuning in to split decision thank you to professor nam you know, for holding it down for the town of Raleigh. That being said, you know, Professor Nam is a real life professor. You know, he does this for real. You see him over there on the painting. Ain't no joke. You know, we want all the smoke. That being said, you know, you want to say anything to, to, to the fans and give them any updates. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in at this time. I think this is show number four. So we've yeah. been doing it for one month now. Uh, we want to, I said that as we started getting into this, that we want to, kind of evaluate ourselves after a six month period and stuff. So we got our first month in and we appreciate all the comments, all the controversy, all your opinions. We welcome it all. And the support. Yeah, and the support. Definitely um make sure that you do subscribe to uh Aki TV. And, and hashtag gonna... hashtag Professor Nam. <laughs> hashtag Aki. Whoever you thought won the debate every show. Just drop Aki, drop Professor Nam name on the comment section and hashtag us to see who won the debate and obviously do that after watching the show. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you Aki team, put Aki Nation. If you Professor Nim on if you're on his name, put, put Professor Nim gang. Rip. You know what I'm hey, saying? Rip your set. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh we're gonna be able to go live soon. Me and Professor Nim working on a thing or two. 
where we're going to have people call in. Y'all going to be watching live and we're going to be debating we'll, we'll live. To, we we, we got to get them subscriptions up. Uh, we got to get y'all got to subscribe, y'all got to share, gotta y'all got to do all that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we got more things coming. We got bigger things coming and we're going to be hosting the show even after the fight's right away, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to be talking about the fight and many more. So stay tuned, subscribe. Don't just subscribe. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post because there's a lot of content on YouTube, so you can't keep up just by subscription. So click on the notification bell because if you're not subscribed to Aki TV, you're definitely getting dumb about a minute if you're not subscribed to me, especially when it comes to boxing. However, if you is, you're getting smarter by the second. I see, shut I see. Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey